Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day. And today is Sunday the 22nd, I think, 22nd. I don't know. I know it's Sunday, I know that much. Which it took me a couple tries to get to Sunday because I thought it was Saturday all day, but it is definitely not. So but yeah, I got up this morning, fairly decent each time. Um got woke up extra early. My buddy gets up at like 5.45 in the morning to go ride his bike and stuff and whatnot. I think mostly trying to avoid getting hit by cars when the traffic starts getting busy kind of thing. So get woke up by that. And then I get back to sleep. Then he leaves the house a little before seven. And when he does, he opens the garage door to go out. And the garage door is like right below my bed and it wakes me up and then I'm up the rest of the day. So I've been awake since 545, but up since seven. So got up, got a few things around here done. <coughs> Nothing too major. Uh, went and grabbed a uh, a few slices of pizza from Casey's, uh, microwaved it up, and then um, jumped in the car, went running around Tumwa, ate my pizza in the car as I was just kind of driving around looking at stuff and whatnot. Went over to basically the Iowa version of Home Depot. There's a place called Menards. Really enjoyed it. It used to be my favorite place, a uh, lumber store. And they started adding groceries. It became a little weird, and it's they got some interesting stuff. But went ahead and got that. Um, Got some shopping done there, got things I needed, and then I find some windshield cleaner and some other stuff I needed for the trip, and grab myself some ratchet straps to tie down the freezer on the tray home, so somehow I forgot my ratchet straps, but bought those and that, and then um, from there I went to Dollar Tree, grabbed myself some reading glasses, I forgot my reading glasses. I usually keep like a spare set in all my vehicles, and I didn't this time, so I hadn't put one in this car yet because I haven't driven this car very long, so went ahead and bought another set of reading glasses and whatnot, so got that done, um, was able to get a few things accomplished, nothing too major. Um, got back from out running around, kind of drove around Tomwa a little bit, looking at some of the sites and stuff and how much things have changed since I've been gone and just kind of wandering around. Went by to see a buddy of mine, you know, has a merciful shop, mostly repairs, I think he also, it looks like he's selling cars and shit now. But I was told where he was out, kind of out south of town there. So drove out by there and he meant the old highway, not the main highway. So went down the main highway, didn't see it. So I came back up the old highway and while looking for his shop, did not see it. Got back to where I knew it was too far north and punched in the GPS and then found it around back. And it's this little shitty hole in the wall warehouse looking building, garage building thing. It's just, it's kind of a really a dump. It's a dump fucking little place. No signage, no nothing that says his business name, that damn thing. I don't know how he's in business. I really don't. I think the way he stays in business is his brother fills bags. Their dad died when, they were, when he was real young. The brother's quite a bit older. And I think the brother kind of took the fatherly role. But I think the brother just basically bails him out of his debt like once a year as like his inheritance from his dad kind of thing. And the guy, this guy's like 40 years old plus like 45 or some shit. And I think he's still doing it because there's no way he's making profit out of that business. It can't be. So... But yeah, there's that. That's a fun thing. So, but yeah, I went around there a little bit and then headed back to the house. Um, Terry got back from his trip. I sat outside, had myself a little cigar. Uh, senior came out and went right in the shed because he didn't want to sit outside with me, which sucks because it's much better outside. So, but yeah, he went ahead, he went in the shed. Junior got home. We hung around, chatted for a while, just kind of shooting the shit. Got a few things done. He was ordering more parts for his KTM. He broke his motorcycle, trying to get it fixed. He's got a race next Sunday. He's trying to get to last race of the year and don't know if it'll happen or not, but he's trying. So, but yeah, just kind of hanging around doing the simple stuff. Wife reached out and said, There's a tropical storms coming up and they're predicting it possibly to grow into a hurricane and it's gonna kick my ass. So, it's that whole concept of coming across right when I'm coming home with my cow. So, yeah, I'm kind of not sure what's happening. I think I might have to head back early and I'm gonna. My aunt's gonna reach out Monday to the locker and see if they have got my meat cut up already or if they can cut it up a little bit early for me so we can get it figured out. But who knows, we'll see how it goes down. So, but yeah, went ahead and uh, started raining here off and on. So we're hiding in the shed from the weather, smoking cigars and just shooting the shit, having ourselves good conversations. And then uh, decided to go for my run. I just ran to my house because it's cold and rainy and <clears throat> definitely not worth driving anywhere to go run on a concrete path and I can run on a blacktop road out here. So left the house, went and ran, ran just a little short of 5k and keep my run streak lives all I'm after. So got my run in, got that done. Um, 
got back by the time I got back the rain had stopped ironically it still kind of rained off and on a little bit throughout the day but it was pretty much done so got myself a shower um, Junior went ahead and threw a um, frozen lasagna in the oven so he knocked out frozen lasagna always oh, I also stopped at Casey's grab myself some chocolate milk this is the first chocolate milk I had of this trip normally I would buy a bunch and drink tons of it but this trip just felt weird his first trip back since mom moved and there was some emotional crap in that that just I apparently haven't worked through. I thought I had, but I hadn't. So, yeah, dealing with that whole fun stuff and all that good things, but it is what it is. So, yeah, got that done. Um, after uh, dinner, went ahead and ended up back outside. We sat outside for a while until the sun went down. I don't know, just smoking cigars out by the garage. And then headed into the shed. We talked a little while and stuff. And I was pretty tired and I was just needing to, I went to bed a little early normally. Only I'm up later, but it was a lot of 10. Went in, watched some YouTube and chilled out a little bit and relaxed and then finally got some sleep so yeah that was pretty much my whole day um cut my trip crazy short i think is what's gonna happen so who knows i'm gonna hopefully find out tomorrow if they have my meat done already if they have my cow butchered up i can just go grab it and head out of there because it's nothing so yeah we'll see how it breaks down so anyway that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching